Okay, so this is uh, Sunday, October the 11th, and this is the third time we're going to try this open vent cap idea. I'm going to hook it up just like I did uh, on the last test, the second one, and uh, the big difference this time is you see this black loop that's bypassing the squeeze bulb. Uh, Dan Bauer believes that it's probably the cracking pressure of the one-way valve in that squeeze bulb that is preventing the external fuel from siphoning into the uh, integral tank once uh, that gets burned. So we're going to try it with this bypass. Okay, so we've got the uh, vent line running directly from the tank straight up to fasten to the top of the external tank. So it's definitely higher than the uh, internal pickup at the bottom of the tank. There's uh, about an inch of fuel above the halfway point in the external tank. And then the next thing is I used wire ties to try to secure all of the uh, fuel line in a uh, continuously descending uh, pattern to go down to the uh, fuel tank. So I'm just about to connect the quick disconnect and what I expect to have happen is for the uh, <clears throat> external tank to fill the internal tank uh, up through the vent line to the level of the pickup in the external tank. All right, finally success. <laughs> I had a hard time getting the siphon going because of the bypass line. So what I finally had to do was take loose the down uh, stream connection and hold my thumb over the bypass line so it could get some suction and then I used the squeeze bulb to, uh, to pressurize the line until I had gasoline coming out of the lower connection and then I quickly uh, pressed the uh, line back on the bypass line. So we're definitely getting a good siphon right now. You can see gas is running from the external tank into the internal tank, and it's filling the vent line up basically to the level of the bottom of the uh, external fuel tank, which is exactly what we expected to happen. Okay, so if Dan's theory is true, then the fuel is siphoning. Right now I think it's going both through the one-way check valve in the squeeze bulb and around the uh, one-way check valve in the squeeze bulb with our uh, black bypass tube there and flowing into the generator. So we're going to crank the generator up and uh, hopefully this time as the generator burns its internal fuel the siphon will go around the squeeze bulb without having to crack the uh, one-way check valve's pressure and uh, siphon the external fuel into the generator. These are just such great little generators. It, uh, it started on one pull and uh, it's all hooked up now, so I'm going to turn on the uh, 600 watt side of the heater and you heard the uh, electronic speed control speed up the generator to carry that load. And it is now uh, about 10 after 2 on the 11th of October and the bubbling has uh, almost completely ceased in the vent line now that it's, uh, the generator is running. The generator has been running for uh, just about two hours and I am encouraged by the fact that uh, it, it does seem to have burned some fuel. It, it's down to uh, right about on the seam there, about the uh, half full point. So that is encouraging. Uh, there's no fuel in the uh, vent line, so uh, it's not refilling up to the uh, level of the bottom of the tank like it was. But it does seem like some fuel is, uh, is well, good morning. It's Monday, the uh, 12th of October, about a quarter after 10 in the morning, and uh, <laughs> Danny Bauer, you are a genius. Uh, we've, we've achieved success here. The uh, generator is still running, and we have consumed almost all of the internal fuel. Yeah, I, I think that's just the residual in the bottom of the tank. So the generator has consumed all of its external fuel by uh, using that bypass loop right there that uh, went around the check valve in the squeeze bulb. And uh, now the generator is still running on internal fuel. So uh, I'll be curious to see how, I'm gonna let it just run and see 
how long it'll keep going. Uh, it's still pulling the load, the light's still on on the uh, heater, it's pulling about 600 watts there, so uh, I'm going to just let it roll. But uh, I believe that uh, Dan Bauer solved the puzzle of why the uh, generator would, even with an open vent tube, it would burn the internal fuel but then would not uh, continue to siphon, and it was because of the cracking pressure in the one-way check valve in the squeeze bulb. Well done, Dan. And there it is. Well, this is just a total success story. My uh, neighbors down the way just a little bit that have been working in their hangar said that the uh, generator died about 10 minutes after noon today. So I have to go back and look at when we started the test, but uh, it certainly ran all night. And as you can see, all the fuel is uh, exhausted from the uh, external tank. So that was just a total success, Danny Bauer. Uh, great idea about using the bypass. We're just going to have to figure out how to fine tune that a little bit. But uh, that generator ran, uh, I think, over 24 hours and consumed all the fuel available to it.